To start raising our own black widows, uh, you first need a fertilized egg sac like that one down there. Um, and after that sac breaks open, it's going to turn into these little, little guys. And the further along they go, due process, they'll turn into these little guys. And the bigger they get, you could put them in a small glass jar. Like these guys here. You know, later on, as they grow older, they'll become that one. She's pregnant and she's ready to make an egg sack. Now, lots of these pill bottles will work. In empty jars. This is a old applesauce jar. And as soon as they hatch, they'll just turn into these little guys and later on they'll start webbing the whole the whole area and they'll be sprawled all over the place like these guys in here now, one of the first things they want to do is eat and that's where the water comes in and that's all you need for the first two months is water so you just get this water and Spray a really fine mist, just two sprays every other day, or every three days. I, I usually go three or four days at a time. And that's pretty much it, that's how you raise your own black widows. Um, as you can see, I'm successfully raising my own from these little guys, these little guys, these guys, from a fertilized egg sac. To that little beauty queen in there. And that's how you raise black little spiders. Just by water. As they gradually get older, you could put flies or ants. Or even termites. Just literally anything that moves. 